Hi, welcome back. My name is Jamie. This little slice of YouTube is Border Bananas and we are going thrifting today. Uh, we are going to Goodwill, uh, my favorite Goodwill actually, in Hudson, Wisconsin. And it was a good trip. I don't think I recorded much in there because I filled my cart basically in the first five minutes I was there. It was a good trip. I found some things that I've been looking for for a while. Um, something I'm always looking for and then some, some things I wasn't looking for but was excited to find. So anyway, let's go thrifting. When I thrift, I usually start in the dishes and work my way around the store and I always go through the store twice just to, because they bring stuff out, you know, before you, before you leave. They're always stocking the shelves. And I started in the baskets this time and then went to the pottery and the collectibles. And they had some bins coming out and they were stock full of Stampin' Up! cling stamps. There was tons of them in there. My gosh, I looked right past that beautiful framed art of nautical knots and went for this bird picture. What was I thinking? I never saw it. It just blinders, apparently. <laughs> It's always an exciting day for me when I find Syracuse China. This was a big platter. It was so fun to find it. This is a really successful trip so far. <laughs> um, we've been here for like five minutes. My cart is full already. <sighs> no, I, I, no, no, no. Oh, Josie wants to show you one thing that she found. Bring it over here so they don't see the cart, Josie. A 1980s a strawberry shortcake. She still smells and she's like in such good condition. Look at that. Yeah, so we're excited about that. So she was bringing that one home. A little bit, yeah. But, all right, let's keep thrifting. I love finding stuff like this at the thrift store. This is an entire bag of cabinet door hardware, the handles and the back plates for $10.99. If you go on like uh, Wednesday and you get the discount or you go on Thursday and get the color tag off, it's an even better deal. But I didn't need any so I didn't pick any up because I did just recently thrift a bag of 21. So I was happy about that.
the prices on these are getting better. They used to be $5.99. I'm not sure if this fabric is vintage, but it certainly looked and felt vintage to me. And I'm not sure how much it was there, was there, but one of them was, I believe, $5. Yep, $5, and I think the other one was $2. There was a smaller piece of it as well. And this fabulousness right here is the most gorgeous, sunniest shade of yellow tablecloth that I ever saw. It was so pretty and $6.99. Look at the beautiful detail on it and all the fringe. Oh, so pretty. I wish I could do yellow. I loved the way these glasses felt in my hand. They just felt substantial but comfortable. I thought they were really cool too. And $1.99. Oh, I don't need them. I don't need them. I don't need them. I hope you enjoyed that. Did you enjoy that? I enjoyed that. <laughs> um, I don't remember getting too much footage of the stuff that I actually really was excited about. So this is probably going to be a huge surprise. Um, I will tell you that I did get Josie two, let's see, one band t-shirt. It was Queen. And then I also got her a Grateful Dead, not a Grateful Dead t-shirt, <laughs> the Walking Dead t-shirt. That's like a TV, a zombie TV show. Um, a, a black and red plaid skirt that she's really super excited about and a strawberry shortcake and I think she took them all because they're not in the basket so <laughs> what a stinker um so she didn't let me haul them anyway um I'm going to go ahead and jump to you I've got first of all this basket is huge and I did go on a Wednesday it is gorgeous I'm going to use it as a laundry basket it was $6.99 and like I was saying I did go on a Wednesday so I'd get I did get 25% off my entire purchase so that was really exciting because I don't believe I have any black tags in here black tags um, the, the, the uh, coupons or the um, you know the price decreases <laughs> what is the word sales <laughs> don't work on so but I went there specifically looking for a, a certain size basket that Josie can use. Uh, she just got on a Herbst appliance for her braces and um, she got a special toothbrush and all this gear that she needs to have daily uh, for her braces. Um, she has two separate toothpastes like these little tiny brushes and are all like a smart toothbrush that hooks up with her iPhone and it's just a whole thing. So uh, I needed something where she could just grab it and bring it to the bathroom um, from the linen closet. So I grabbed her this one. Uh, it looks like this. I think this will be big enough and but I'm planning on taking the cover off so that it can slide under a divider, like a, what are those, a riser for the cabinet. This was $3.99, so I did pay $3 for it, uh, and it has the braided, um, the edge that I love so much, and I love this like honey color specifically. I think it's beautiful, so I was excited to find this one. I was really excited to find this one. This basket's full, you guys, but it's kind of big stuff, so I'm just going to keep pulling it from here. I need a drink, though. You guys drink coffee? I mm, love the Italian sweet cream coffee creamer from Aldi. If you haven't tried it, give it a try. It's amazing. 
especially on cold winter days like today. It is not spring here in Wisconsin. Um, we're still under feet of snow, although today it is 43 and raining and gloomy. But it's going to be down in the 20s for the rest of the week. Okay. Are you ready? <laughs> oh. I was so excited when I found this. It was $3.99. So I paid $3 for it. And it is a yellow wear bowl. I am so excited. Oh, oh, I'm so excited. This is what the look, bottom looks like. I can't believe I found this at Goodwill for $3. I'm so excited. There is not a single crack or chip. It has the beautiful brown stripes. Oh, I'm hoping I can find more. I would love to have this set. This is like just slightly smaller. If I could find one the next size up, it would be perfect for my for my sourdough. So that would be fun. I've been using my Roseville pottery one for my sourdough, which I love. But speaking of Roseville pottery, I found this bad boy. Check it out. It was $6.99. <laughs> but somebody painted on it. And if you know, um, I, in a recent video, actually, I figured out how to take the paint off these painted on bowls. It has to be above the glaze. If it's under the glaze, it's not going to work. Um, but I basically uh, use what is called uh, acetate, 100% acetate and a cotton ball, and I just wipe it off. Should we try it? See if it works. I bet it's gonna work. I'm gonna go get it. Got my bowl. Got my, I get this at Walmart actually. It's 100% pure acetone. Looks like that. You can get it at Walmart for a couple bucks. Some cotton balls. I'm so excited to try this. I hope it works. And let's do this. I will only take a little bit off. I won't do it the whole time I'm here doing this video because I see this kind of stuff at Goodwill all the time. Here's a splooch. I don't know if you can see that. Let's see if it, I can get it off. Oh, come on. You got to come off. <laughs> Takes a little bit of elbow grease. But it's coming off. love these bowls so much. It was $6.99. So what did I pay? $4.75 maybe? $4.79? And that little smooch is just about gone. Got one little spot there. I'm so excited. It worked. I might need to, it's like in a little nook. That little tiny spot, so I'm working on it, trying to get it all off. Okay, I got 99% of it off, but that sploosh was right, was right here. Look at that, I'm so excited. So, I have a little bit of work to do on this guy. I'm just gonna put it right in there. So I have it all together and I'll work on it after this. But yeah, I'm so excited to get this bowl for what, like 4.79 or something. All right, I'm gonna move it here. This one is a little smaller. Okay, next up, I was really excited. This was $2.99, so I paid $2.25 for it. And it's a masher. Oh my gosh, I haven't found one of these that wasn't like packaged with a bunch of other stuff and overpriced in a long time. So I was excited to find this one. And this is the largest one I own, I think. Um, I try to only get these at thrift stores because at antique stores they're like $15 to $20. So I was excited to find this guy. And then I found one pair of pants. They were $10.99, so $11, whatever 25% off that is. Let's see, 25% off 10 is $7.50, so eh, we'll just say $8. And they are <laughs> cut from the cloth. Now these, are size six. 
So I took a gamble buying these, but they looked like they fit. I checked them from like, you know, belly button to the back, um, you know, like pulled them this way and they fit. Um, I do have one other pair of cut from the cloth pants. They're size 10 and they're too big. And size 10 is my normal size. So I got these home and I tried them on immediately and they fit perfectly. I couldn't believe it. But these are the cut from the cloth uh where's i saw that here somewhere there it is reese high rise crop straight and they are so cute they just look like this so apparently you size down two sizes for cut from the cloth and the back just looks like this it does have a little bit of distressing here um, but I was excited to find another pair of jeans that I can wear because I just went through my jeans and um, purged all of the jeans that I just don't aren't comfortable, too tight, gap here and there, slide down, whatever. Jeans are hard for me to find, so finding those was fun. All right, <laughs> my last item that I found that was so exciting was pillow shams because I saw these, I was like, ooh, those are nice. I like those a lot. They were $3.99 each, so I paid $3 a piece for them. They look like this, this beautiful, beautiful floral pattern, which is so on trend right now. Um, but they're Pottery Barn. I was so excited about that. So I got, they look like they're standard. This is a standard sham. Let's see, are they all standard shams? I didn't even look, I just grabbed them all. That's a standard sham. And then, yep, they're all standard shams. Woohoo, so excited about that. Three standard shams. So someone probably either had a king size bed. I did not see the duvet. I wish there was a duvet, but there was no du duvet. Um, oh my gosh, they're so beautiful, but this is not my pattern. So I think these are going to be pillow covers, just like regular 20 by 20 pillow covers because they are beautiful. And I think they will look so cute in my living room for spring and summer. So I think I'm going to do that. So that was exciting. And that was everything in my haul. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, I think you will like this one right here as well. And you could consider subscribing. You can get to my main page right there or just click the little bell at the bottom. Um, and I'd like to thank you so much for watching my video. I know that our moments aren't promised, so you're choosing to spend a few of your moments watching me on my little channel here. It just means the world to me. Thank you so much. I help. You have an amazing weekend and I'll check with you later. Bye guys.